Glory to God.
heavenly mass. That's it. That's it. Look across Jordan.
How many of you God laid the work on, but he says, sit and wait for me. Correct. Yes. yes. Sit and study who you are. Sit and study the colors that you were given. Come on. Sit and study what God wants you to do for him and not what man wants you to do. That's it. I want you to think of yourself as an essential worker in the house of God. Yes. All right. Every mother right now bad in the prison you now. They have a somewhere they did some good. But because we are so vindictive to All each right. other, we just remember the bad. So true. So true. And if you're thinking to yourself at this moment that you lay there, that you cannot do it for yourself. I'm here to let you know God have you right where he wants you. Amen. It's in that state of mind you are going to be victorious. It's in that state of mind success is going to come your way. Proverbs 3, 3 to 6 states. Commit your ways to the Lord. Trust in him and he will act. Let God act. When the storm rage in your land, let God handle it. When the rain fall in, let God handle it. When they start to talk about you, walk in silence and let God handle it. Joshua was loyal to the word of God. Today, God has commanded you, be not be afraid. God has elevated you to a higher order. That means more is expected. Cross Jordan with determination. It is your service it's in your service. You can identify yourself. Serving, servicing for the greater good, the greater light, which is the almighty God. I'm here to let you know, keep pressing. Keep pressing to your mark, not anyone else's mark, your mark. And tell Jesus when you are in your land and you're crossing Jordan, Jesus said.
Thank you. 
And he put on the breastplate unto him. Also put the breastplate on Irem. And the terminal. And he put the mitre upon his head. Also upon the mitre, even up upon his fore front. Did he put the golden plate, the holy crown, as the Lord commands Moses. And Moses took the anointing oil and anoint the tabernacle and all that were therein and sanctify them. And he sprinkled therefore upon the altar seven times and anointed the altar and all the vessels both the river and the foot to sanctify them. And he poured the anointed oil upon Aaron's head and anointed him to sanctify him. Here to the Lord's anointed
we make on their behalf. Strengthen them to do your will as faithful stewards. We pray to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. Deliver them from all blood guiltiness of heart, from pride, vain glory, and hypocrisy, from all envy, hatred, and malice, and all unchangeableness. We pray to you, Lord Christ. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all those who commend themselves to our prayers, for their families, friends, and neighbors, that they being free from anxiety, they may live in joy, peace, and godly heritage. We pray to you, Lord Christ. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That it may please thee to bless our apostolic patriarch, our jurisdictional patriarch, our apostolic, our apostolic primate, all bishops, ministers, and deacons, that they may be filled with your love, that they may hunger for, th and for truth, and may thirst after righteousness. We pray to you, Lord Christ, Lord, hear our prayer. that it may please thee to bless and preserve those, those from thou who in authority over us our president, our governor, and all our mayor, giving them the grace that they may govern in righteousness, justice, and truth. We pray to you, Lord Christ, Lord, Lord hear our prayer, that it may please thee to guide by the indwelling spirit those whom thou hast called to the ministry of the church, that they may go forward with courage and perseverance to the end, we pray to you, Lord Christ, Lord, hear our prayer. that they may faithfully fulfill the duties of ministry, building up your church here on earth to the glory of your name. We pray to you, Lord Christ, Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. that by the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, they may be sustained and encouraged to persevere to the end. We pray to you, Lord Christ, Lord, hear our prayer. for their families, their members of the household and communities, that they may be adorned with all Christian virtues. We pray to you, Lord Christ, Lord, hear our prayer. for all who fear God and believe in, your, in you, Lord Christ, that the division among us may cease and that all may be one as you are the Father uh, as you and the Father are one, we pray to you, Lord Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have come and communed themselves to pray for our families, friends, and neighbors, that being freed from anxiety, they may live in joy, peace, and health. We pray to you, Lord Christ. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the peace of the world, that a spirit of respect and forbearance may grow among nations and people, 
We pray to you, Lord Christ, Lord, yeah, Lord, for the poor and the persecuted, the sick and all who suffer, for, for refuge, prisoners, and for all who are in danger, that they may reveal and protect. We pray to you, Lord Christ, Lord, yeah, Lord, for ourselves, for the forgiveness of our sins, and for the grace of the Holy Spirit to amend our lives. We pray to you, Lord Christ, Lord, yeah, Lord, 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 Lord. O oh God of heaven, yeah. the people still are fed. afternoon to speak about Mother Superior, Margaret Alcala, and my mother. Right? Through all the changing seasons of life, in trouble and in joy, the praises of my God shall still my heart and tongue employ. I am reminded through my Christian spiritual walk that, in, that the years roll around and steal away the breath that first he gave, whatever we do, whatever we say, we are traveling to the grave, so what has kept me to this day? This is a reminder that we are only pilgrims passing through, traveling to the grave. Truly, God has been true to his word. Hence, she lives a life of faith that when the time comes, she will leave a good report. Mother Margaret Debbie Alcala was born to Barbara and Wally Johnson, the second of seven kids. She was raised in the town of Tunapuna in the island of Trinidad and Tobago. At a very tender age of 14, Mother Debbie attended St. Francis Spiritual Baptist Church and accepted Christ and was later baptized by leader Mervyn Bastillo. She grew in the church and later, because of the love of the faith and God, accepted the responsibility of teaching Sunday school. She later joined a group in the church as a young lady called the Legion of Mary Prayer Group. At, the, at that time, she began to have visions of mooning and took her first, second, and third thrones of grace in her home church, St. Francis. She would also visit Little Bethlehem Spiritual Baptist Church under the leadership of Leader Sergeant and Mother Man and Mother Gerald. At the time, Mother Debbie was gainfully employed at the post office and also worked in service commission. While on her journey, she later met and married her husband, Peter, from which she was blessed 
by God with three beautiful children, myself, Patrice, Candice, and Devon. Later, God opened the door for the couple and they were privileged to travel to the United States. Due to her love for God and church, she sought a place to worship and was guided to Mother Cynthia Irvin, who was the mother of St. Anne's Spiritual Baptist Church. She made there her home and worshipped there for 23 years. While there, she took several thrones and attained the degree of baptism mother, and through the years of mourning, obtained the degree of appointing mother, and was guided by Mother Cynthia, and later made the, made the second mother. As Mother Cynthia became ill, she was made the mother of the said St. Anne Spiritual Baptist Church. As stated earlier, through all changing seasons of life, change did come, and in her walk of life, but God never changed. She was privileged to have taken many to the waters for baptism, pointed many souls to Christ, counseled many, and with the help and guidance of God has established a home for the spiritual children God has entrusted into her care, called St. Francis Guiding Light, located at 1024 Montgomery Street. Today she stands as a humble servant, guided by Psalm 1, give, giving me the assurance that she is like the tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth fruit in its season. Her watchword at St. Francis Guiding Light is, God is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? Thereby asking God for one thing, to live with him in his house her whole life long, she will contemplate his beauty and study at his feet. So family, brethren in Christ, my comfort and consolation is for Mother Debbie, is, to, is for her to follow. Yet do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, as God promised to be with her always. Amen? Amen. Amen. This is her journey. Many days it is hard with tears, but her joy always outweighs the tears God has given her. May favor, courage, fortitude, and strength continue to guide her. In these ever-changing seasons, the children of the Court of St. Francis Guiding Spiritual Baptist Church offered and agreed to this new elevation. On this journey, she has one desire of her consecrators. She asks that if her brother, Pastor Roger Spring, to sing for her and those in the church here and those that God has entrusted into her care when all thy mercies, O oh my God. Hymn 34. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When all thy
you got to be an example. I want you to live exemplified so those that are under the sound of your voice will respect you in your position for who you are. Give God the praise, take authority in Jesus' almighty name. Praise the Lord. Madonna, all ministers, come and please. Rest your hand on her. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. I therefore charge you in the presence of God and in this congregation here now assembled to feed and take the flock of Christ now and therefore may be committed to your charge overseeing the life and work of the church be diligent faithful let not your likes or dislike interfere with your judgment let honesty and integrity direct your conduct. Be conformed to the doctrine of the scriptures and discipline of the church and see that the church of God be not brought into contempt with the world while in your care and may the Holy Spirit become your indwelling and keep you steadfast now and forevermore. Amen. God and Father of all, we praise you for your infinite love in calling us to be a holy people in the kingdom of your Son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for his death and having ascended into heaven has poured his gift abundant, abundantly upon your people, making some apostles, yes. some prophets, some evangelists, some teachers to equip the saints for the work of the ministry thereby building up of his kingdom. And now, therefore, Father, give your Holy Spirit yes. to these servants whom you have called to ministry and fill them with your grace and power, making them true ministers in your church. Amen. 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 Now we'll have our brother, our ministering brother that is visiting from Texas, from Texas to bless the new world. Be elevated mother with a few words. Bless the Lord. Offices. Give yes. God praise and thanks. Hallelujah. There's not much I could add to tell you, Mother Debbie. I was supposed to speak on a word, on a holy person, but it was a mix of God is good. Everything happened 
when it's supposed to be. The first time I saw you, mother tell me this lady supposed to come. Much years she telling her to come in. And she, now she ain't reached yet, but I was supposed to ordain. And the first time I saw you. Like the first time I saw you. And I see, I've been observing you for a while. And it remind me of my mother somewhat. You like to see things in order. And anytime you see foolishness, you open your mouth and you put down your feet. But you will have, as I heard a lot of people say to me, you will have those who come. Have those who come just to see what's taking place. But I want to tell you this afternoon, hold on, have faith. I remember Abraham, when God sent him to kill his own son. And the amount of faith Abraham had, the two servants that was with him, Abraham know the faith that he has, God is going to take control. Tell his servant, oh Lord, I'll be back. Amen. So I want you to have faith. You will be pressed down, you will push down, and some words I heard was given to you this afternoon. Haven't I here this afternoon? At this position, I will walk out. Because you remember, you remind me when Christ was about to be that sacrifice. He said, 46 years, I'll break that down and in three days, I'll build it up. Start your building. Have faith. Get this small talk. I heard a minister said, a bishop, Alistair is his name? He said, Long suffering. He said, um, the fellow that died, King Shepherd. King Shepherd. He said, be a mumu, um, be pretty mumu now. <laughs> a lot of them will say, you're stupid. You don't know where you're going, what you're doing. But take your time and trust in God. Hear me carefully. Trust in God and seek his face. Sometimes it look like you're spinning up in mud. But while you're walking and watching and praying, God just waiting until the time is right. Every man on the face of this earth have a purpose and a reason. Press on. Peace. Bless you. I bring greetings from the house of Melchizedek, Texas. Under the watchful eye of Mother Reverend Gloria. Bless the Lord. Peace. Thank you, beloved. Put your hands together, beloved. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. Well, they don't sleep on us because uh, my, uh, Mother Debbie prepared a lot of food. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Reverend Mother Ann worked whole night, whole day. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. To you. Beloved, I, I just want to encourage you. Amen. I know this journey wasn't an easy one, but we are here at the end of it. And I'm going to read your certificate to you today. And then I'm going to ask your daughter, yes, she should make a presentation. Any other presentation will be made downstairs. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. We have been tarrying. So I'm going to read your certificate for you. And it reads, The Spiritual Baptist Faith Incorporated. Certificate of Enthronement and Investiture. Be it known that upon the recommendation of the Holy Patriarchate of the Spiritual Baptist Faith, and after diligent observation of maturity, knowledge, experience of the Baptist Faith, Demonstrating leadership skills in the ecclesiastic and administrative governance of the church and competence in the rudiments and ancient rabbits of, this, of the spiritual Baptist faith. 
Reverend Margaret Alcala. I want to get it right. We publicly and ceremony enthroned and invested as your new title. We are right? Praise the Lord. We publicly and ceremony enthroned and in Institute as Reverend Mother Superior of the Spiritual Baptist Faith at Mount Moriah Spiritual Church, 1057 Nostrand Avenue in Brooklyn, New York. And it be vestured of the enthronement within the statutes of the Apostolic Patriarch Patriarchate of the Spiritual Baptist Faith. Be honored hereby with a prefect of her reverence. So, moving forward, when you are in ecclesiastical office, and someone says to you, I'm about to, or I will greet her, her reverence, reverend mother superior. And that it be proclaimed this 20th, 29th day of May, 2021. In the witness, therefore, we have it affixed our signature and seal this 29th day of May in the year of our Lord 2021. The signatures are His Excellency Dr. Norris V. Ashland, the Apostolic Patriarch of the Spiritual Baptist Faith. We have His Grace, uh, His Grace. Walter Wilson, Archbishop of the Spiritual Baptist Faith. We have Minister Lystra Ashton, the Administrative Secretary. And we have His Lordship, Bishop Nigel Benjamin. Glory to God. And yours truly, His Eminence, Dr. Maurice Raymond, the Apostolic Vicar and the Escapade Father of the Spiritual Baptist Faith. We are happy to celebrate with you, to congratulate you today on your elevation. All we ask, and I can speak for the Apostolic Patriarch and to all here, your pointing father, the King Pope here, and all of us, is that you allow yourself to walk within the pathway of God. Amen. I said to you earlier on down there, I don't want to hear about yesterday. Because yesterday is already past and gone. We are moving forward. You know, sometimes I heard this preacher said that sometimes people like to dig up your own plantation. But if we go to dig up other people's plantation, all of us that are sitting here holier than thou. All of us that are sitting here bright as the morning star. If we only take a peep into our past, we will wonder if it's the same person that is sitting here now. So don't worry. There is still mercy with God. So I bless God for you today. Don't let us down. Don't allow yourself to let your church down. Don't allow to let you as an individual down. Use the word silence in everything. That we do. Sometimes I just want to say you're stupid. But allow silence to be a guide. Because you can't stop people from paying tax in America. So you can't stop them from talking. Let them talk. I said to the church the other day, the more they talk is the more I'm getting big. So that's a good thing. Let them continue to talk. Praise the Lord. So I bless the Lord for you today. I congratulate you on your elevation. And may God continue to bless you. I will ask your daughter at this time to come and make the presentation. And then we'll come down in Jesus Almighty name. Amen. I'm an old woman.
salmon. I have to take small strides. Bless the Lord. Thank you, my love. A pleasant good afternoon again to everyone. Pleasant good afternoon. Um, Reverend Mother Superior. Hallelujah. Margaret Alcala. I'll use your official title now. Um, I come today not just up on myself, me, Devon, Candace, and all the children of St. Francis Guiding Light. We wanted to tell you we are so proud of you. Amen. We are thankful for everything you have done with us. And in this new venture, this new stride, this new journey, we hope that God continues to bless your footsteps and that you do it with all the grace and elegance that we know you have. May God continue to bless you and keep you safe. We love you. Right. The Lord. Wonderful. Praise the Lord. All right, get, get, just take a picture with it and, and don't wish you down too much, please. <laughs> Roger and the patriarch already eat that plenty today. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. We want to thank the Lord today, beloved. For each and everything that was done, we want to thank God for the musician, for um, the, the cameraman, the speaker. Bless the Lord. Put your hands together for the speaker. Bless the Lord. Amen. Um, at, um, at least you can see that the ordinations are not being done just like that because we are utilizing the individuals, Amen. praise the Lord, that are being elevated or ordained. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So if you have any intention of getting ordained, that's all right. But know the next ordination you will have to speak. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So get your house in order. Bless Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. So we want to bless the Lord. Turn around, Mother Debbie. Reverend Mother Superior. Church of God, stand up. Stand up. Praise the Lord. And I'm going to ask her while um, her father... Bishop Kurt, sing something for her, that she will take a first walk to the door and back, and no longer as just Mother Debbie, but Reverend Mother Superior. Take your walk. To
We praise the Lord this evening. Praise the Lord. To my patriarch father, to Bishop Maurice, to Bishop Kurt, to Archbishop Walter, to Abish Austin, to the speaker, to the young minister, to Bishop Janet, to the saints of God, pleasant evening. I indeed give this evening a golden privilege, where I can look back and say, now we are alive to see each other's face. You know, this evening I want to give honor and I want to give glory to Almighty God. I want to say thanks, thanks to one and all. You know, when I sat, uh, tears came to my eyes and you might wonder why. I had many pointers, but I still this evening, one still stood with me. My Lord. So I give God the praise. praise the I give him the honor. Amen. And I give him the glory. glory my, I will not disappoint the patriarch, nor the house of God. Oh to the speaker, I want to thank you for your words. Because I'm about to cross a Jordan. And I will take everything with me in crossing. Amen. So I thank God for your words this evening. I will not disappoint anyone. Long God hold my hand. And God be my helper. Yes. I'll walk this walk. Amen. I'll fight a good fight Lord. with all my might. And at the end of the road, we all shall meet. If not on this side, we shall meet on the other side. To the nurses who stand with me, I want to say thanks. In no other name, but in Jesus, thanks to my the Church of St. Francis, I want to say to you all, thanks, thanks, thanks. 10,000 tongues not so sufficient to thank you all. I just want to thank you all and pray that we continue in this new event in one peace, one love, one understanding. To my children, to my two daughters, I want to tell them thanks this evening. To my little grand, thanks, thanks, thanks. In no other name, to my brother who we toiled many years from back home to here, I want to say thanks to him this evening. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God at this time, church stand, when we give the praise and thanks to Almighty God for bringing us thus far when we are going to come down and go down stairs and enjoy the balance of the evening where to allow the superior mother to go down first before anyone posts themselves on stairs. Let me sing this that she like to hear and we come down. Devices and designs upon us. 
We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. And we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And there is no help in us. But our Lord have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults. Restore thou them that are penitent according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant unto us, most merciful Father, for your sake, we may hear of the live a godly, a righteous, a sober life to the glory of your holy name. Father, in the name of Jesus, we do want to thank you. Thank you for this day. Thank you for every prayer. Thank you for the speaker. Thank you for every word. And thank you for the weather condition. But we are yet still on the land of the living. Thank you for each and every one that could have made it out here. And now, God, we are about to separate ourselves, one from another, but not from your presence. We beg of you to be with us in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Praise God from whom? Praise him, all preacher. Praise him, all God. Praise Father, Son. We thank the Lord most because let man into our soul the bread of life the saving grace bless the lord of my soul bless the lord of my soul bless the lord of my, my soul we present at our table lord you, the Lord keep you. The Lord made his face to shine upon you and to be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant us all one love, one peace. In Jesus' name, go downstairs, but go down in order.